coming together for the reintroduction of wolves to the western slope of Colorado. This week, stakeholders are holding meetings in the springs, getting updates, hearing from experts and the public. Bill Folsom looks into the status of wolves returning to Colorado. Wild wolves are in Colorado and more will be reintroduced. Plenty don't like the idea, but a vote in favor prevailed. It's an extremely emotional topic for a lot of people, and we know that there's a huge diversity of opinion on the topic of gray wolves here in the state. Um, but Proposition 114 passed. This is now law in Colorado, and so Colorado Parks and Wildlife is working forward. The restoration of gray wolves west of the Continental Divide, um, starting no later than December 31st, 2023. It's very important for us to learn how to coexist. There is a deadline, so before wolves roam, a lot of people with diversity opinions are weighing in on a reintroduction plan coming together. This meeting at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo is the latest in a series of monthly planning sessions. Bring the perspectives from ranchers, from environmentalists, from recreationists and everyone in between. How to bring wolves here, uh, where to bring them from, where to put them on the ground, um, at what pace. That's the technical side. The management element is where many opinions diverge. The interaction of wolves and livestock brings up the divisive topic of whether wolves on farm and ranch land can be killed. So how do you minimize conflict as well as um, compensate when losses occur? There is also an education element to all this. At meetings, also through online options, there are questions, for example, about the wolves that migrated on their own into northern Colorado. It won't impact reintroduction plans other than offering an element of study for Colorado Parks and Wildlife researchers. A bit better of an idea of how they're moving, how they're reacting to Colorado's landscape. Months into this, there is still plenty of disagreement. Moderators say there's new ideas coming in, also some education happening, and that's bringing compromise. Still, there's a long way to go. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.